Hello there, welcome to a video. This is not a reaction to the trailer for Another Crab's Treasure. Because I've, I've seen the trailer already, I, I watched it during the uh, this morning's, what, Nintendo Indies World. Why did they scrap the name Nindies? That was so much fun. Anyway, Agro Crab has a new game coming out sometime. <laughs> next year which is a bit of a wait but that is okay i'm sure it's still a very small team if you're not familiar with agro crab shame on you they made a game called going under you can see some suggestions for videos related to going under over here going under to put it briefly is one of my favorite games there's no qualifier there. It's one of my favorite games. <laughs> and I've been wanting to make a video about it for a while. I recently watched uh, Yakko's video on it and was like, oh, well, hmm, he did a pretty good job. Maybe I shouldn't. But I have a different perspective, so I will do that eventually. But to, to sort of sum up my feelings about that game and some of the key things that it was doing, it really just does an excellent job of very harshly satirizing and critiquing startup culture and workplace issues uh, with some of the best writing period that, that I've seen in, in a game with an extremely accurate, <laughs> accurate depiction of what a lot of these workplaces can be like. It was a rogue light, I suppose, since you could get permanent upgrades throughout and it was extremely colorful and, and, and fun, great characters, a massive update they added later on. In general, AgroGrab just seems to be, this is a bit of an assumption, they seem like cool people, <laughs> basically. They seem like they know exactly what they want to make and they just throw so many good ideas into their work, even their social media presence. When their former publisher, for example, Team17, announced that they wanted to get into some NFT stuff, they came out with a fantastic uh, sort of press release tweet thing that was like, hey, look, we fucking hate this and we're not gonna be working with them anymore. And they're not. Apparently this game is being published by Kovaloon Knights, which I'm vaguely familiar with and it doesn't sound like a publisher name. But anyway, let's get to it. I wanna do some analysis, heavy quotes, for the trailer of Another Crab's Treasure and even that title, I'll, I'll get into a little bit later, but let's start off by actually watching some of it, okay? Okay. Okay, so we got our tin can, we got a lot of pollution here, love it. <laughs> some plastic bottle caps. Color palette, fine. Brighter, I guess, more saturated than what you might uh, expect from an underground, not underground, underwater environment. Still a relatively simple look in terms of the models. Although our, our character here in the um, shells like, I don't know how successful that pun is, but that sort of makes it better. So obviously, yeah, it is a, a Souls-like game of all things, which is not at all what I expected from Aggro Crab. <laughs> And I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a decent sense of the combat. Maybe I'll roll it a little bit back here because one of the most important things with Souls likes is well, okay, difficulty, sure, and you have your somewhat basic move set, but uh, combat feels really impactful and and weighty. I didn't necessarily feel that way about the combat in Going Under, although of course it was a completely different game, completely different style of game, so that's a okay. Um, but let's take another quick look at some of the combat clips we see here, which are pretty brief. Okay, so we have some kind of, was that like a strafe or was that the dodge roll? Because I know he does have a dodge roll. I think it's a dodge roll, it just happens so fast. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, underwater glowy section, which is beautiful, great idea. Okay, samurai looking <laughs> crustacean of some kind. It feels like a lot of crustaceans in general, doesn't it? That was a thimble instead of a can. Oh yeah, this scary guy. <laughs> uh, okay, so 2023, we already talked about that. Uh, obviously, the, the title 
feels like a play on just the what the idiom you know one man's trash is another man's treasure another crab's treasure also in general like if this wasn't already obvious <laughs> the core concept on this one i really love picturing the team i don't know if it's just the two people or if there's a larger team work i think there's a larger team around but anyway i just imagine everybody sitting around in a room or on a video call and just saying hmm okay we know like the style, we want to do like a Souls-like thing, that, that'll be fun, we'll see what we can do there. But then they're thinking, okay, well, who's our character? What's the setting? <laughs> they just they just looked at like the, the custom coffee mug that has the studio logo on it and in name, and they just said, hmm, what if we made a game about an aggro crab? <laughs> what if we just did a thing about like a, an aggressive crab who gets into fights? <laughs> I hope that's what happened. It works very well for me. Also, okay, we have this interesting play on just like, you know, especially when I was growing up in like in like the 90s, you would always see those like PSA cartoons or whatever where someone has to rescue sea life from pollution. And I think the famous example there was like a dolphin that had somehow gotten stuck in like a, those plastic six pack holders that used to exist that I haven't seen one in ages and it kind of became like I don't know weirdly comical and cliche just how often these fictional fish and and sea mammals and such were getting caught in plastic bottle holders so this time around we have like apparently our sea life and even our lead crab doesn't he look an awful an awful lot like um Sebastian like is that like a legally distinct Sebastian. But we seem to have sea life embracing these uh, bits of pollution, essentially. Which, I mean, maybe there's a story bit where like, it's because of the pollution that the, the underwater sea life is becoming very aggressive and like getting engaged in soul style combat. I don't know, I think that would be funny, but at the moment it, we just get these little tastes of it. Like, okay, just random funny bits of trash that they are finding new ways to uh, inhabit and, and use to their advantage. The underwater environments we get in general never seem all that uh, crazy, at least of what we've seen so far. This is one of the more interesting ones for sure. We have sort of a chessboard theme going on here. And what this, I don't know, royal crustacean seems to be holding, it looks like one of those tea infuser things. So there's that, there's the, uh, the sort of deep sea segment. Where was that? That was over here. This is wonderful. I mean, a great idea for underwater games in general. It can have some weird looking fish down there and cut down on visibility. Sounds of room for creativity. Other than that, I, I don't know. I also feel like we're, we're probably seeing just some earlier areas of the game in general. That's just the vibe I'm getting. And I don't have too, too much to say about the gameplay. And as I mentioned earlier, something that's so important to work out with these kinds of games is just feel. Like, how does it actually feel to play? How does it feel to hit uh, one of the enemies, etc.? Does the dodge roll feel decent? That's the gist of what we have in the trailer for Another Crab's Treasure. I really do hope this one takes off, although I feel like placing it in the Souls-like genre immediately is kind of like inviting a bunch of scrutiny because all of a sudden people are comparing it to one of the 2053 Souls-like games that we've seen over the last 10, 12 years or so. So there is that. I think a similar thing was happening with going under where people are like, well, it's it's a roguelite, so we have a million and one games to compare it to, and like, oh, I didn't like this as much as it was done in the uh, in this other game. And as Yakko points out in his video, uh, which isn't being recommended here, but go check it out, that wasn't the main focus. Like, combat is important. Gameplay is obviously important. I do think the gameplay of going under is very enjoyable, but it's not the sole focus. They, they're certainly placing a ton of emphasis on the story. That's most of what I'll be focusing on in my video on going under if I ever end up making it. There has to be a massive emphasis on gameplay. Also, if there is any kind of serious story element, we're not really getting much, we're not getting many hints of it here at all. We have, okay, so we have Crabsby down here, trash is a way of, no, it's this guy. Okay, trash is a way of life. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see about the gameplay side. Obviously, I mean, I'm sure we won't have any kind of demo or, or beta, etc., for, for quite a while. So there's that. And I do want to find out whether or not there's story attached to this. Uh, another potential meaning of the title, in my opinion, is 
given the content of Going Under, there's potential for it to go in the direction of, like, power disparities, I suppose? Maybe I'm reaching way too much just based on footage of a crab dodge rolling through underwater landscapes. But knowing what the team is about, what they tend to cover, and how well they covered it in Going Under, there's a chance, there's a smidgen of a chance that they are going to try to talk about, okay, I mean, even our character could be seen right away as, like, some kind of underdog type character we're certainly coming up against coming up against enemies that just look bigger and stronger than us that look more dominant than our character so will they try to say something in that vein i hope we get some very interesting story with this one i definitely trust the overall writing talent at agro crab i have a lot of positive things to say about their previous work obviously but for the moment i guess that those are some of my thoughts on another crab's treasure which apparently is coming out on PC and Switch, so that's cool because you can actually, you know, kind of follow the developments on Steam. I'm sure they will also be updating on all their social media, etc. Even though I don't, I don't go on Twitter. Come on, come on now. But yeah, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this this tiny little look. But yeah, I'm I'm just such a fan of the studio that I'm very excited to see where this goes. Um, but that's all for now. Thanks for stopping by.